Chiefs, Chargers, Jags, Ravens, Steelers. I've got uh I've got Chiefs, Jags, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cincy, which means two spots now left in the AFC East. So uh and I find it to be a fascinating division. I think New England's gonna stink. I think Mac Jones's time is pretty much it, it might be it for the hoodie and Belichick and the boys in New England. I, I see some pundits having them win 10. I don't see it. You're not going to win these divisional games. I think Miami is being ridiculously overlooked. I think they're being disrespected because people can't stand Tua. They've got speed all over. They've got a defense. They know how to play Buffalo and they know how to play the New York Jets. That team, if Tua doesn't get hurt, who knows what happens? I mean, honestly, let's let's be fair here. He was arguably the MVP of the first what six, seven games of the season. Uh, so I'm high on Miami. I think Miami uh, is a playoff team. And that would leave one spot left for Buffalo and the New York football Jets, who believe they're going to have the 2000 friggin' and the 78 and the 85 Bears defense. Um, Buffalo, the window is right now. It's It's just, it's getting tighter. It's got to be now or never. And the fascinating I guess dilemma slash situation to watch from an outside view is the diva wide receiver and the franchise quarterback. And if they're on the same page, if they're truly on the same page, I think they're going to figure it out because of the head coach and they're a good team. I need Allen not to friggin' turn the ball over. So here's my one other bold prediction, if you will. Buffalo and Miami will make the playoffs. The friggin' let me go in a friggin' cave. Let me find myself. Let me go on hard knocks. Let me go to the Rangers game. Let me go to the opera. Let me go to this. Let me go to Taylor Swift. Let me go to that crap. Here we go. Relax. Let me put all the cameras on uh, for hard knocks and HBO and say all the right things. And I'm going to teach these guys and coach them up. And Zach Wilson. And here we go. Robert Sala keeping receipts. All this shit and crap. I'm hearing from the Jets and their fans. The New York football Jets. Not the football giants, but the gang green, the LOL Jets. The New York Jets will miss the playoffs. The New York Jets Damn. will they will win eight freaking games, and the much Bollywood hype defense is gonna spit the bit at the worst freaking time late in the season, and they will get knocked out of playoff contention because I don't want to hear shit anymore from the Jet fans. And you know it's gonna be fascinating when freaking Mac Jones, who got benched for four games, comes back to start the last game of the season and throws for 265 and three touchdowns. And the Jets give up a big play defensively late and they get knocked out of playoff contention. The Jets will miss the playoffs. I am Rich Kewitt. I'm not allowed in North Jersey and New York, Long Island. They don't want to see because I'm back in my play. I don't care. I'm going to get crushed. They're drinking the green my I don't care. I'm going to get hammered and they're going to sit there and say, you're not objective. I freaking said the Giants are going to take a step back. I'm so freaking, I'm just so turned off. You know, none of this. Oh yeah. I really wish you do well. New York Jets. I hope you're no, 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 no. Enough of that crap. And I said this before, I never liked the move for Aaron Rodgers. I didn't, but I also knew Zach Wilson's time was out of hand. I just, to me, it's, it's another boomer bust. All the bravado, all the talking, if this team does not get to the AFC Championship, let alone the Super Bowl, it's a disappointment. The New York Jets will miss the freaking playoffs. Buffalo and Miami are my last two spots. All right, he has it on tape for everybody. I'm back all right. the with it. Now you're going to get mad at me because I'm drinking a green Kool-Aid. And it's not it's not Eagles here where I am. It, it, I just think the Jets are, are too good to fail. They just got pretty much – talent on that roster now you should got dalvin cook as long as as long as he can as long as as long as he can distribute the ball and keep everybody happy you know there's just too much talent on this team and an offensive line can come together i which i think they can i i I think this is going to be a very dangerous team uh we're going to see obviously we talked about that beginning of the schedule is very tough they play you know, teams like can they start Bingo. with Buffalo and then they have they got Kansas City, they got the Eagles all on there, and we're gonna find out quickly. But I think they 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 have enough to win this division, and, and that that's gonna make a great can story. I, can I interrupt yeah. you for one second? Yep. They've got Buffalo, 
They go on the road against Dallas. They have New England, who it doesn't matter who's quarterback, and they can never friggin' beat the New England Patriots. They got Kansas City. They got to travel to Denver, come back, and then play the Eagles. Then they get to buy. Then they have the Giants, and they have the Chargers. What? Like, what? what? Like, what? I mean, come on. I, I One, mean, look, two, it... three, four, five, six, seven. If they are not five and two after seven games, I don't want to hear crap. And they're talking as if they've already done something. Can you at least yeah, win that, the division that, and get that their freaking playoffs? That is always scary when a team is death, has that that glide about them, and they haven't achieved anything. But you know that that's what he brings to the table. You know he he's got that moxie, and, and Aaron Rodgers, even at thirty nine, he thinks he still can get it done and it be the was he a three time MVP and bring that pedigree to this team. They had both rookies of the year last year, so they have a lot of a lot to work around him so the duke, they better not fail because we talk about the back pages you know of, the duke of the papers does not there. lie my friend the duke <laughs> does not lie i'm telling you right now so you like so the it, jets, it, that's fine yeah so i got i like the jets to win this division they were seven and ten last year i, I think uh it's probably going to take about 11 wins to win this division because they're going to beat up on each other so Hopefully they can get to 11 wins and I can be right. But of course, you know, typically I have the kiss of death. So, you know, the Jets fans should be probably more mad at me, but I have them winning division. Then Buffalo, um, they, they're getting a lot of guys back. You know, Von Miller yeah. will be back eventually. They got Micah Hyde coming back. They got Hamlin coming back to feel good story, but it, it's all going to be around Sean McDermott and Josh Allen. Can they get it done? Can Ken Dorsey revive this offense that was just kind of dormant? We saw that in the playoff game. They just – they look terrible. So it, um, we'll see how they do. They have the, uh, the younger cook at the running back position. that They're ready to let him go and, and see what he can do. They have Dalton Kincaid, who I really liked coming out of the draft, the tight end position. You have to watch him potentially as a rookie of the year. So I think they do enough probably um, to get to 10 wins. Last year, 13-3. and three. I think they get to probably 10 wins or so, sneaking, get one on the wild cards. Miami, unfortunately, I just don't know if two is going to make it through the season. You, know, you got Armstead coming back uh, from a very bad pectoral injury. And, and you know, can that offensive line protect him? I, I know Connor Williams at the center position. You know, he, he's kind of scary there. gets pressure up the middle. And, and, and Tua, yes, he's bulked up. He's learned how to fall doing jiu-jitsu and all that stuff. But you know he he's got to stay healthy because if he if he's not healthy they're in trouble, and they're another team that they, they they have a ton of talent on that team and and if he can't get it done McDaniel you know people are going to be looking Mike at him White. you know and right right now he's the genius you know what I mean he's the genius but I just I think they they were nine and eight last year and I I still see them coming in right around that mark and then we talk about the talent in the AFC you as a nine and eight team you're just not going to get in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, in the AFC. Backup. Um, yeah, that, that right. that's ugly. Uh, quick, 